Hey there, my wild and crazy golden ear peeps. It is I, Lala, and finally, finally, I'm to my yays and nays for August. I know it's almost done with September, but, you know, I, I did it. I got it. It's been a very busy month. Okay, I am still loving, and this is skincare first. I'm going to start with is my Alaskan Glacial Essentials. It's really hard to get out. This is one of my favorite, the Niacinamide and Hyaluronic Antioxidant Glow Toner. Look how pretty that is. The, the bottle's very pretty, and it's glass. They're all, they're powered by Mother Nature. They are vegan and cruelty-free and very clean. It's a great, great product. And how I use this, if you didn't see my uh, glacial, my Alaskan Glacial Essentials video I did, after I've done in the morning vitamin C, I will spray it all over. And then at night, after I've done my Trentinoin, I spray it on over. And then I use this one. This is the second favorite of mine, Age Defying Reservatrol and Hyaluronic Youth Serum. And it's just, they're just wonderful. I can't tell you how wonderful they are. They just are glowy. My skin just feels amazing. You say my skin looks really good. I really believe that these two items right here are one of the best. And it's just, I really feel it's made a difference in my skin. Next for makeup for last month was Milani. And I know it's not been that long ago, but this, this Milani makeup is amazing. How it goes on and it's, um, hydrating it's uh it's a concealer as well that's what i have on today and then of course and this is a little another spendy product is the revitalash uh, eye conditioning serum and you just put you take one and you put it on the top of your eye and then go on the other you just need one dip in to do both eyes and it has made a difference on the the conditioning of my eyelashes how how they just don't they're not going in all different directions. I mean, this eye was just hysterical. But I've been using this for over a month as well. I think I started using this in July, early July. So it's really made a difference. It's very expensive. It's, you can get the little tiny one to try it, and I think that's 50 something, but it's $100. Unless you buy it at Amazon Prime Day, then it was for 70. That's when I bought it. So I'm hoping this will last until next year. Anyway, so another Milani product I'm really liking that is the bronzer. And it is just a very light, smooth bronzer in uh, it's suntan silky matte. And it's just real, it's just got a nice little creamy texture and it's not a real bright or it's not real dark or any of that. And that's on today. It just, I use it as a contour too. And then of course, I'm loving their palette. This eye palette is just, it's lovely and it's very inexpensive. So this is the very inexpensive kind of makeup stuff. And then, that's, I think, oh, I still love my Mophie, my little Mophie eyebrow pencil. It's just, it's a perfect color, the perfect match, and it just goes on smooth and it lasts all day. So I, I'll probably have to quit reviewing that because I think I've reviewed it the last two times, but it's amazing. All right. That's the makeup for yays, the nays for makeup. I'm really not too fond. I thought I liked it, this Milani um, powder. Oh, I can't even open it. It's, uh, it's too actually too thick and white, even though it says it's translucent. So I'm my, my holy grail is Lori Mercier's translucent powder. It just goes out. You don't even really look. It just kind of smooths it out. Where this, I can see the powder. And I'm applying it in the same. So that's that's not something I want to continue using. And I'm the Milani mascara is really clumpy. I had big clumps in it and I had just opened it. So I'm not a fan of the Milani mascara. And then I'm not a fan of the Milani tight line because it transfers. It transfers right away. I mean, unless you can put it on and probably go like this for, you know, what, three minutes? It's, which is literally impossible. Uh, yeah, it transfers, so it's not a good eyeliner. All right, now, hair care products. This, this is a very nice spray on uh, to give you some glow, but I have found 
using them one every other day, that the coconut oil, which is under three bucks, is uh, just as nice. It's coconut oil and you just put a little in your hand, just a little tiny bit and rub it through where this is a spray, so it's not as controlled unless you spray it on your hands and do that. But and this is much more pricey than this, so I would stick to this for my, um, to give it a little bit of shine and uh, calm down some of the wild hairs. All right, this, oh, this is this, this, uh, it's by, Bedhead for men, and it's a texturized, what does it say, holding? Pate. <laughs> Don't eat it. Okay, so it's got a nice, it's not real creamy, but it's creamier than the wax. I can't, I tried the wax, and that was ridiculitis for my hair. So you just put a little bit on your finger, and you just rub it in until you really can't see it, and then I'll take it on and go through my clean hair. And what's nice about it, why I say clean hair, is the next day all I have to do, because I have used this, is just spray my hair with water and I might have to take a little, um, my little curling iron to it to uh, make sure that I've got, you know, no holes in it. And there is a new product that I, I'm going to try. I, haven't, I got it last month, but I haven't tried it. It's this big, se sexy hair and it's a powder and you spray it where you have a hole and then you kind of swirl it around and um, it poofs it up and this is for dry and so it's a small enough to go into your purse. It's like 20 bucks but it's it will last forever especially if you're only using it on the days that your hair is dry you know you haven't and you need a little pluff up. All right so I think that's all the Yays, I have new, I'm not sure if I showed you this or not in one of my tutorials, Revlon's Quick Blowout. It's a uh, thermal spray and texturizer. I'm really loving this. It, it does exactly what it says. So that's a keeper. And then uh, these are the new items that I got from Ipsy that I'm going to be trying out. I tried some of them out, but I haven't. I'm going to try to use them more consistently. And this is this Selfless by Hiram. It's niacinamide and mercula. Uh, it's a very light, lovely uh, lotion that is for your face. And so I've been putting it on my face at the end instead of the regular um, creams that I've been using to, to give this a fair try. And then I got this, <laughs> yeah, that most wanted, this lip gloss. It's very nice, but none of them, you know, Lip gloss is the only lip gloss I find that really stays on my lips is that City Beauty uh, Lip Plumper. It doesn't have any tingling or anything in it, but it, and it does plump up your lips, and it lasts quite a while. None of these products am I being sponsored by these vendors. I'm just, you know, this is all my own opinion and my own wallet. All right, so then they have this little, and you know, I don't really use uh, concealer. I use the makeup as concealer. I don't know, it's just, it's been working for me. I haven't really needed to, you know, expend that, but I got this in the, in my little Ipsy bag, and if you watch, it's called Winky Lux. I'm on the fence whether I'll use it or not, or re-gift it. Okay, and then they had the pore cream, and this has salicylic acid, so I'm going to have to redo my quiz, beauty quiz for them, so that I can because salicylic acid is for people usually that have acne, and I don't have acne. I use lactic acid. That is a very mild exfoliator for my skin. So this I will re-gift to one of my granddaughters. Okay, then I have the brushes, and I, I will try them. I'm going to use these brushes when I do my e.l.f. tutorial uh, for e.l.f. products, e.l.f. makeup, and see how those go. And then if I like them, I'll continue to use them for the month. Then I have this uh, eye brightener, and I've been using it. Um, I don't know if I have noticed <laughs> yet. It's only been a few days, but it's supposed to lighten and brighten your eyes. They don't give you a lot of information, I just think it says. Oh my gosh. Plant peptides smooth, hydrate, and visibly brighten the look of the under eye area. Use day and night. Okay, and this is by one kind. So I will continue to use that. With these two and let you know next month and I haven't tried my little Farah um, eye palette so adorable 
I will be trying that in, maybe I'll use that in my hooded eye tutorial because I am going to do that very soon because my eyes are not so much hooded, but I have, they, I guess they are, um, you can still see part of my eyelid, but I'm just getting saggy, saggy screen. And I've tried some uplifting stuff on my eyes and all it does is dry them out and make them worse. So I'm working on how to bring my eyes up. This is what I'm going to be using in my hooded eyes, this little teeny tiny, uh, pretty much corner eyelash curler. Okay, and you use it after you've got all your uh, mascara on. So I'm going to be doing that and uh, see if I can't bring them up. I'm, I'm just, I'm always frightened to use um, any of these uh, eyelash curlers because I, I'm afraid I'm going to rip them out because, you know, it's, I'm not as steady as I used to be. <laughs> All right, what else? Oh, and this lip tint, this lip tint, I have used it a couple of times underneath my City Beauty because my City, my City Beauty um, plumper is clear. So I tried this and it was, it was, it was doable. I don't know if it if it's a tint, a lip tint that will never wipe off throughout the day, but I will try it and let you know. So that's what's coming next month, plus any tutorials that I do this month on makeup. I will be going over those. I don't have anything on body and skincare. I'm still using the same product. I'm loving my hair care products that I wash that I use in the shower. You, I can link you the new products. Some people just think it's too much, but when you only wash your hair twice a week, these products are excellent and they last a very long time. It all depends on what you, you know, the, its initial cost and then from then on out, it's forever because two times a week is just nothing. All right. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for next month. I have so many new products, all this Ipsy stuff and more makeup products. I'm really excited. I think it's going to be great. So let's discover new things together. Next month will be uh, the Ipsy Unveil for this month. I haven't received it yet. And just a lot of fun stuff coming. And of course, I love your suggestions. I love your support. I love your wonderful comments. And as I said, even the constructive criticism is important. I had one viewer tell me to just, you're never going to please everybody, to just do you. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to be as honest and straightforward and as funny as I can be because laughter is the best medicine. So everybody go out there and laugh. Go out there and dance and pray every night that you're thankful for this life that you have. We only have one, and we are in the golden years, so let's make the most of it. Love you. See you next week.